Can I wait for this? This is GMRB. We love the running backs here. We are joined by another one of the top RBs in this year's draft class. He was first team all Big Ten selection last year, rushing for over 1,100 yards and 10 touchdowns. Hail to the victors. This one's for you, Rich Eisen, running back from Michigan, Karan Higdon. What's up, man? How you feeling? Good. How's New York treating you? How, what's it like to be here? It's amazing. You know, it's an amazing city. A lot of skyscrapers, a lot of history. A lot of history. A lot of history. And we're talking about the future today. First, you had an experience at Michigan that was fascinating. Looking back after you finished your junior year, right. you had said, if I had gotten 1,000 yards rushing, I was going pro. Right. You finished with 994. Yeah. So you stay another year senior, you blow up again. Why was that the decision? Tell us, take us through the process. Yeah, it, it just wasn't meant to be. You know, I finished six yards short. So I feel like, you know, that was God's way of telling me, hey, you got more work to do. Mm. And I think, you know, going into my junior year, I started game five. So within that time span, you know, I rack up 994 yards and I just have an amazing season. And I was still hungry and I, I'm not the type of guy that likes to finish short. So I know I had to reach that 1,000 mark. And I wanted to come back another year with my brothers and make sure that happened. Incredible, man. Not everyone loves the combine. A lot of people say the combine, it doesn't really translate. I like the combine because everyone is at the same spot with the same conditions and you can see everything there. You ran a 449 40 at the combine. You also jumped 34 inches and you bench pressed 23 times. Mm. Really, really impressive numbers. And then afterwards it comes out that you were pretty much injured throughout that. So oh. you competed through an injury and yet still had very impressive numbers. What is the actual potential for you if you were healthy? And why did you compete if you were injured at the combat? There, there's a lot of potential. You know, I think I showed that, like I said, by coming back, we just spoke about that. Um, that was something that a lot of people didn't know. I played through this whole CS senior campaign, you know, injured. I had uh, two sports hernias. So I two? Knew two of them. So I knew going through it, I had to, um, you know, bite down and, and fight for my team. And that was a big decision of sitting out the bowl game. Um, but I was able to get at least healthy enough to compete at the scene world, compete at, at the combine, um, to at least show face. And I was blessed to do that. I was blessed to have that opportunity. And uh, I'm glad I had the numbers I had. Mm. Wow, two sports yeah, hernias? Mm -hmm. Not one, two. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, so you're a team captain, right. vocal leader. You're also known to hold your teammates accountable. Your teammates uh, said that you, you would hey, say, this is what we're going to do. Coming in as a rookie, you get drafted. Are you going to be that same vocal leader? Uh, and what's your, you know, what's your approach right. coming into it as a, as a rookie into the NFL? Most definitely. I think um, that's something that was worked upon. You know, I had to earn the older guys' respect, and I had to earn the respect of my teammates. So it wasn't like I just came in being vocal. You know, I'm the type of guy where I can lead in different perspectives. You know, so coming in, I had to lead through my actions. I had to be a guy that was working hard that was quiet and humble, and that was you know, showing my teammates that they can hold me accountable so I can then hold them accountable. And I think I'll take that same approach going into an NFL locker room. Love it. Love having great, you here on the show. That's a great a answer. answer. It's a Got perfect it. answer. So we're no strangers to some of these prospects working out with NFL legends, right? Just legends mm -hmm. in their own right. Randy Moss. We've seen guys working out with Calvin Johnson, mm -hmm. of course. But you've, you've taken a bit of an interesting route. I have to ask you about this. You were working out and hitting the gym with Miguel Cabrera, like yeah. the wow. future <laughs> Hall of Famer, Miggy Cabrera. Right. How did this come about? What's different about this? And what advice has he given you? Yeah, I was training down at Pete Bomarito. Shout out to Pete, you know, and his staff. And uh, maybe he was there. He did all the time working out as, as well as other great leg legends. And, you know, he was working out with me in the, in the weight room. And it was just amazing to see someone of high caliber work and see, you know, their mentality and how they go about things. You know, a lot of guys can walk around, you know, cocky and arrogant. He's a guy that walks around with a chip on his shoulder as if he's the worst guy in baseball. Mm. And I can see how that translates into his game because he kills mm. it. Mm. You know, so it was an honor to work with him and it just made me want to work that much more, that much harder and be eventually where he's at. That's a cool story. Triple crown. Cool. Unbelievable. Um, Jim Harbaugh. Mm -hmm. I happen to think a huge asset for you and under college, you played under a coach who's coached in the Super Bowl, the right. highest level of this, of this league. Um, we hear all these stories about Jim Harbaugh. Right. Enthusiasm unknown to mankind <laughs> and the pants and all the antics and everything. <laughs> who's got it better than us? You were one of his very, you were his first recruiting class right. ever to Ann Arbor. Wow. Tell us the experience of playing under Coach Harbaugh. 
it's a great experience, especially when you look back on it. You know, when you're going through it, you're kind of like, well, how are we doing this? You know, what's going on? But now that, you know, I'm on the other side, I tell my teammates that are there now, like, hey, you know, really buy in and lock in. And that was something I'm grateful I did because it prepared me for this process and what I'm about to walk into. You know, you're, you're playing an NFL scheme. Um, you're learning from NFL coaches. And you're learning what the what the environment may be, what, be like depending on the NFL team you go into. So I think that it makes you able to adapt to a lot of different situations. Good stuff. What is the how are we doing this, what's going on phase of it? Like, what, what is he putting, what are you guys, what is it doing to you guys? I mean, you just got long days, you know, you, you working extensively hard. Um, you know, we're always in full pads. You got yeah. four-hour spring balls, you know, but he's doing a lot of great things, too, you know, as far as taking us across the country. Like, you know, they're going to Africa soon. We went to Paris last year and Rome the year before, okay. you know, and you learn the game at Michigan. You know, he forces you to learn the playbook and learn what's going on and learn football. You know, a lot of schools don't force you to do that, so that's something that is a benefit to you. He sounds like he's preparing them for I was the next say, level. He that's does. Fantastic. That's, a, mm -hmm. that's a exactly. And he had a running back named Frank Gore in, right. in, in the pro, so that's not a bad footstep to follow there. You know, everyone comes on our show, and we have fun and all stuff, but the last question with these draft prospects is always the same. We say, we're asking you to make the case for yourself, because right. in that camera right now, we're going to ask you to look. 32 NFL teams are watching our show. It's on yeah. in the cafeteria. It's on in the gym. Steve will get texts from players saying, hey, I'm watching you right now. All right. They're all watching Karan Higdon right now. So make the case for why they should draft you. Maybe day two, maybe day three, maybe day one right. of the NFL draft. Look into that camera and explain why you're the guy. Good morning, NFL Oils. Karan Higdon, Michigan running back number 22. I think you should draft me because I'm a hardworking guy, a humble guy. I'm going to come in day one, do my job, you know, follow the script, and help you guys win the championship. Okay, That's Karan. That's so good. Easy. We've done 30 of those. No one's ever said good morning. That's I love it. those. Perfect, man. Good morning, NFL. Go get them. I like yes. that. I like that a lot. Karan, good luck to you. Thank you. We will probably see you. Do not forget us little people yes. here <laughs> later Never on that. in your Never career. That. Much more good morning football ahead. The NFL schedule release is tonight at 8 p.m. So